Hey Aquarius, welcome to the channel. This is your February Twin Flame reading. What is your Twin Flame up to, Aquarius? So let's find out what your Twin Flame is up to. Where is stupid now, Aquarius? Oh, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see what your Twin Flame is up to. All right, so we have two cards out. We have the Four of Swords and we have the Ten of Swords, Aquarius. <laughs> Your person is really messed up right now. And I'm not laughing. This is not funny, right? But it would appear that they're struggling, right? Got a little stress going on. Maybe they need um, a little time out. The Four of Swords, you know, tells us that they're a little overwhelmed right now. Maybe need some sleep, some healing, some solitude, uh, things of that nature because they're clearly uh, going through uh, something here, Aquarius, with uh, this Ten of Swords. Um, your person could be feeling like um, they were betrayed in some way. Maybe you, you know, stabbed them in the back because the Ten of Swords is, I mean, it's pretty devastating, right? I mean, it looks like it hurts, right? All Ten of Swords uh, in your flame's back. Uh, so they're definitely uh, going through something right now. And I feel like they're in some type of pain or some type of crisis even. Um, your twin flame could be uh, hitting uh, rock bottom right now with this ten of swords. And maybe it's needing a little time, you know, to rest. So if your twin flame right now, you know, kind of has disappeared, you know, from social media or... You know, maybe you're, they're not, not posting as much as they were before, or maybe they mood is changing on the post that they on, whatever. I feel like they're maybe hiding, taking a break, um, because I don't know, they're going through something. So, you know, it could be something that they're thinking about, because there's a lot of swords here, okay? But it could very well uh, be something, you know, that they're going through. Uh, some of them could be, you know, trying to change things up as far as like... Um, there are there are finances things of that nature but i feel like there's something um um that they're trying to get over or move past or uh get rid of or maybe even uh leave behind but i feel that you know they're struggling uh with that because i feel honestly like um this is you uh Chris, that could be you know making them happy you know, at this time, but I don't know. So whether you're with somebody else now or they're with somebody else, I don't really know. But what I can tell you by the looks of these cards, they definitely, you know, um, is struggling with something and um, it very well could just be um, a decision. All right. So let's see what else um, your person could be going through. Um, what is your twin flame? doing Aquarius um other than stressing and struggling right now what else is Aquarius's twin flame doing what are they going through oh so look they trying to start over Aquarius they're trying to um maybe even move on uh from this because the fool uh tells us that you know either they don't know what they're doing because the fool can sometimes be you know, a little naive, okay? Or, you know, your person, you know, maybe just be trying to like um, start over again, you know, do something different, you know, be a little more spontaneous, like uh, maybe trying to get out of this Ten of Swords energy, but they definitely want to start over again, you know, in some form or fashion, you know? So right now, uh, your person is, you know, trying to reset themselves, okay, um, in some way. And again, this could be finances, this could be relationship, you know, who knows, but um, they definitely going through some type of um, uh, discomfort uh, at this time. And they're definitely wanting uh, something new. Look at all these cards. Are they all green like this? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. Lots of green. Why right? all that green? So it could be money. Um, you know, cards are kind of dark. Um, things of that nature. So we have the page of swords. I do feel like your person starting over again, right? Because pages are kind of, you know, like kind of just, you know what? This is reset. Like this is start over again. All right. Um, I feel like your person's not communicating like, like much. Like they, I don't know, they're really going through something. A lot of it is uh, responsibility that you're trying to handle right now. 
okay um some of them could be even avoiding responsibility uh in some way i'm kind of feeling that with this page but you know pages are you know they're, they're young they're immature you know they're not so sure right things of that nature so even this person's decision i feel um uh, for some of you is is to not talk to you or think about you uh, with all these swords here right it's a lot of swords on this table so there's a lot of processing going on a lot of you know um telepathy even going on uh between uh the two of you okay i honestly feel like you know even though there is resistance here um i do feel that you know this person either is resisting a new start with you or even really in some way uh may want it right so whether this is something new with you uh whatever but wherever they are whoever they're with um, I feel like they're trying to get away from it um, because this Ten of Swords energy is being in a place or a space that's disturbing uh, to some extent. So let's see. Um, let's clarify uh, some of these cards. All right. So I do feel your person's in distress, you know, and they're trying to find, you know, a way out of their head um, for sure. Their thoughts are curious. Let's see. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is this person in need of solitude? Uh, spirit, let's see what we have. We have the Ten of Cups. So, you know, this is, this is, you know, this is what they dream of, Aquarius. Like, when they are relaxing, when they are, you know, in a, in a, in a calm space, I feel like, you know, this is what they're thinking about, you know, being happy, you know, being free, you know, having, you know, that feeling of overall satisfaction, you know, maybe even getting married, you know, just security, you know, overall, like this is what, you know, your person is wanting, but, you know, it's coming out with this four swords. So clearly, you know, they haven't gotten this piece, right? At least not yet, right? They're still, uh, some type of healing here that this person has to do before your twin flame has to do before they'll ever be happy. And this may not even necessarily be, look, happy. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Like, your person, like, you know, like, I feel like overall, like, your twin flame, like, the reason why, you know, y'all may not be together is because this person still may have, you know, some, some work to do, meaning that, you know, they may say they happy, but they're really not happy. Like they may uh, appear to be happy, say, uh, by themselves or, um, you know, where they are in life, but I feel like they're not. And this is the reason why, you know, you guys are not together. Like, I feel like your person still has some healing to do before they can get this 10 of cups. Like, you know, I don't, there's something, like, you know, like childhood trauma uh, type of uh, situation, like I feel like your person, you know, has. But, you know, look, like this is your soulmate. I feel like you got it. And like I said, like you got a lot of telep uh, telepathy and things like that going on between you. We have the moon on the bottom of the decks. So I know you guys, um, you know, may not be, you know, speaking uh, a prayer. Some of you could be dealing with, you know, cancer or Pisces. Uh, for some of you, but your flame right now it could be a Gemini, it could be a Leo, candy fire sign. I'm sorry. All right, focus. But like I was saying, um, your person definitely could want, you know, a rekindling with you, but you got some stuff they need to work on. I feel like a Chris, like you have some beautiful cards here though. So whoever this, your, your little twinsy is here, I do feel like there is happiness between the two of you. I mean, how can it not be with the sun, the ten of cups, and the lovers? I mean, that's a strong, you know, connection there uh, between you and your person. But y'all not together. Or if y'all are together, let's just say you are with your twin flame right now. Like, you're legitimately, like, getting on their nerves with that ten of swords and they need a break from you. So I would hope that, you know, you're not in a relationship where... You know, it's like you stressing your person out because this person, um, whoever your 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 twin is here, you know, there's a strong connection between the two of you. So I feel like you're not, you know, with this person and they're on the brink, you know, of, um, you know, giving up. Okay, that's how I feel. They want to start over again. They want to move on past this situation for some find new relationships, new love. I just feel like your person is, you know, tired of suffering. Um, and I feel like a lot of this, sorry, that was way too many cards. A lot of this is self-imposed, um, Aquarius, like what your person's going through. They're self-imposed, but they sick of it because the emperor is like, you know what? It's time to take charge. So that's what your twin is doing right now. They half in still, uh, Aquarius and half out 
uh, for real, for real. They still love you because the lovers is here, the sun is here. You're still what makes them happy, um, even if they could, you know, even if they're moving on. All right, um, that's just what it is. They still love you. So I, I honestly um, don't know why. You know, you guys aren't together, other than the fact that I do feel like somebody else still um, needs to um, fix like their internal. Okay, um, they could be a little on the selfish side or they could be, you know, vain and, you know, and things like that, you know, are, you know, a turn off, you know, to, you know, Aquarius. So, you know, um, they may they need to fix some stuff. And yes, be picky, Aquarius, right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's the way you should be, right? If somebody's, you know, just a little too much of something and, you know, it's not what you like, be honest with yourself, right? If you you know, like to kiss and your person, you know, does not like to kiss, right? Why would you get involved with a person that doesn't like to kiss? Like you're going to have a conflict from the gate. So it's best to be picky. You know, you can't change things about people. So if your person needs some growing up to do, you know, and you're willing to wait, then so be it. But somebody, your person is longing, you know, for you right now, right? Could have been some misunderstandings. I feel like a lot of you Aquarius, like you've rejected this person, you know, and that's part of the issue that your, you know, flame is having, you know, dealing with the rejection that you dished out to them. Like they pride is, you know, like I said, this person could be boastful, egotistical in some ways, uh, very vain into themselves, uh, things of that nature. So it's easy to hurt they pride. So they may not be telling you that, you know, they only want you, but it's the truth right? Whether they walking away or not, okay? This person walks away, they're still going to miss you. They're still going to want you. They're still going to crave you, right? They're still going to feel like a lost soul, <laughs> all right, without you. And that's just that. Um, so, you know, they're vulnerable, right? The card says vulnerable. And I do see that, you know, where they're vulnerable here because they're not, you know, able to express their true feelings. And the true feelings is, is that, you know, Aquarius, wherever they are, whoever they with, they still want to return to you, Okay, and they're trying to distract themselves from like the memories that they have and, you know, they're still conflicted. All right. Um, for some of them, they watching you, even though they don't want to. Right. But they can't help themselves. So even if they've taken a break, you know, from, you know, borderline, you know, stalking you in some way, um, that's okay. Because it's just like, I don't know, it's like I almost felt like mentally they're trying to call your bluff, you know, or something like, you know, what if I disappear, Aquarius don't see me no more you know, maybe they'll think about me, you know, maybe they'll call me like, I kind of feel that like it's deep with this person, right? Because they don't want to give into their pride. But at the same time, you know, they want a second chance, okay, because you're part of their life. All right, even though they've made some mistakes. Um, but your person could definitely be in this very, you know, I don't know, like I said, I mean, it is a water sign, right? Because I feel like somebody has like emotional, you know, some emotional issues here, whether it's this longing that I'm feeling, or this victim and this empathy that's on the table. Like, it does make me feel like somebody, you know, kind of uses their emotions, you know, to survive in the world, okay? Manipulation or, you know, uh, love or whatever. Like, just that, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying. A person's dealt with some pain. So, um, so right now, I guess I would say, honestly, uh, Aquarius, that your person's just, you know, going through the motions, uh, for real, for real. That's how I feel like. I feel like right now they're just going through another up and down with, you know, not being with you. Okay. The back and forth struggle that they're going to go through because you're their, their twin flame or you're their soulmate, you know. So they're going through one of their, their lows right now and then that'll go away and then they'll go back into the highs and they'll pop back up and, you know, into civilization, Aquarius. And you'll be able to know what they're thinking and they're doing just by, you know, reading the posts that they put, you know, on you know, social media, you know, a lot of people don't realize when they post certain things, it just speaks of what your mind is on at the time, right? So, um, Aquarius, it'll be back to normal, all right, until you guys fix this. So, Aquarius, this is what I have for you for your twin flame reading for this month. Um, open your heart, Aquarius, don't be that way. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for um, watching, and I will see you in the next video.